another stop on the spooky, creepy, cool haunted places. And now we're in Yazoo City, Mississippi, in the Glenwood Cemetery at the Witch's Grave. Back in the 1880s, Yazoo City was a hustle and bustle, a new town growing quickly, full of farming, full of fishing, and full of life. Around this same time, there was to believed an old lady who her appearance wasn't very nice, uh, her personality wasn't great, and she lived alone in the swamps. Matter of fact, the townspeople didn't even think enough of this woman to even know her name at the time. But this old witch would wait until a storm was coming in. And then she would offer lone fishermen, maybe caught in the swamp, some shelter and some food. So she would guide them back to her old swamp shack where she would actually poison the men with arsenic. Now, what she exactly did to these supposed men and these supposed victims, you know, that's left up to speculation. But there were some evil deeds afoot. Some crazy kind of things that the old lady did. Matter of fact, in the year 1884, a young boy out playing around in the swamp, probably fishing, ran across this old lady's shack because he had heard screams coming from up the shore. The boy's curiosity, of course, got the better of him. He peeked in a window, and man, what he saw, from what I can tell through research, was pretty grotesque. He actually saw two dead bodies laying in the floor, and the old witch on her knees talking to some sort of deity in the sky, possibly even casting spells. Of course, the young boy got scared out of his mind, ran all the way back to the sheriff of Yazoo City, and they sent out a search party for the old witch. When they got there, the old witch was not to be found, and neither were the two bodies that the boy had spoke of. The sheriff had reason to believe that the boy made it all up. But upon further inspection of the house, matter of fact, it was in the attic, they found several witchy things, including two full life-size skeletons hanging from the rafters. Well, that was evidence enough for the sheriff and his men who were now so grossed out that they had to find this lady who was doing these horrible things. Now, upon finding the old witch, she had actually tried to escape the search party, but got stuck in good old Mississippi quicksand. So just as her head was about to go under, upset with her situation and upset that she had been caught and now facing her own fate, she yelled out how much she never liked the people of Yazoo City, and that on a morning in May of 1904, that she would come back and she would burn that city to the ground. With the people of Yazoo all aware of all this, the next day when they buried the witch in the Glenwood Cemetery, they actually put the thickest chains that they could find to go around the grave. The chain was supposed to keep her in her grave. That way that old witch could not get out and do what she had promised. The sheriff, being boastful and being cocky, said, if she can break through these chains, she deserves to burn down Yazoo. Well, on the morning of May 25th, 1904, a mass devastation burned the entire town to the ground. Three-fourths of the city, matter of fact and over 300 plus buildings all turned to ash. Well, of course, the townspeople, completely mad and upset, they go to the graveside of the old witch and they find that the chains were indeed broken. In May of 1904, the witch of Yazoo City broke out of these chains surrounding her grave and burned down Yazoo City. So that concluded all of their myths and all of their legends about this old witch and her promise. It took them over two years to rebuild the town. And the legend of the old witch still holds strong. And with her chains broken, she's still out there. But at least today, we do know her name. Her name was Tandy Warren. And she was the Yazoo City Witch. So anyways, legend has it that the old witch broke out of her grave and burn down the town. You're from Yazoo? Yes. Okay, cool, so like, what do you know about the witch story? Um, I know that she was uh, pretty much hated by the town and she was accused of witchcraft. And, right. 
Uh, did they? Did they? When they buried her, did they do the chains then? They did do the chains. That's then. what I thought. And uh, the chains were broken, found broken, and. Um, to the date when she said she would come back and destroy Yazoo, it burned down the whole city. To this day, most people you find in Yazoo believe 100%. The, Why not? I yeah. would too, you know. I would want to. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be like, give me some creepy it's stuff. That's a neat story. Yeah. That's cool, man. What's your name? Christian. Christian? I appreciate yeah. it, man. Thanks. Nice. And I have to say, this is an awesome cemetery. So if you ever come through Yazoo City, Mississippi, definitely stop and check it out. So we're going to continue this trip and we are on to the next one.